Hello, today we're going to talk about the Renaissance, a very important period in art history. We will cover everything you need to know in just 5 minutes. Let's get to it. The term comes from the French word Renaissance, which means rebirth, and it started in Italy in the late Middle Ages and later it spread throughout all Europe. Though the availability of papers sped the dissemination of ideas from the later 15th century, the changes of the Renaissance were not only formally experienced across Europe. The Renaissance was a cultural movement that profoundly affected European intellectual life in the early modern period. It was a really huge and great movement. Its influence was felt in literature, philosophy, art, music, politics, science, religion, and other aspects of intellectual inquiry. Renaissance scholars employed the humanist method in study and search for realism and human emotion in art. Realism was the most important thing to portray. It began in Florence, Italy, in the 14th century. This is why it is considered one of the most important places talking about art. Various theories have been proposed about its origins and characteristics, focusing on things like the social and civic peculiarities of Florence at the time and its political structure. Other aspects, the patronage of the Medici family and the migration of Greek scholars and texts to Italy following the fall of Constantinople at the hands of the Ottoman Turks. Leonardo has often been described as the archetype of a Renaissance man, a man whose seemingly infinite curiosity was equaled only by his powers of invention. He is widely considered to be one of the greatest painters of all time and perhaps the most diversely talented person ever to have lived. It is primarily as a painter that Leonardo was and is renowned. Two of his works, the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper, occupy unique positions as the most famous portrait and religious painting of all time. Leonardo's drawing of the Vitruvian Man is also iconic. Perhaps 15 of his paintings survive. The small number due to his constant and frequently disastrous experimentation with new techniques. Nevertheless, these few works, together with the notebooks which contain drawings, scientific diagrams, and his thoughts on the nature of painting, comprise a contribution to the later generations of artists. Rather few of his designs were constructed during his lifetime, but some of his smaller inventions such as an automated bobbin winder and a machine entered the world of manufacturing unheralded. Michelangelo was born in 1475. He was a sculptor, painter, and architect widely considered to be one of the greatest artists of the Italian Renaissance period and arguably of all time. His work demonstrated a blend of psychological insight, physical realism, and intensity never before seen. His two contemporaries recognized his extraordinary talent and Michelangelo received commissions from some of the most wealthy and powerful men of his day, including popes and others affiliated with the Catholic Church. His resulting work, mostly his Pieta and David sculptures and the Sistine Chapel ceiling paintings, have been carefully tended and preserved. David is a masterpiece of Renaissance sculpture created between 1501 and 1504. It is a 5.17 metro marble statue of a man nude, representing the biblical hero David. Raffaello Sancio da Urbino was born the 28th of March of 1483 in Urbino, Marche, Italy. He was a painter and an architect. His father was a painter. Since early age, Raffaello started to show abilities through painting. When his father died, Raffaello was raised by different painters that made him improve. He is part of the trinity of great masters of the Renaissance and was criticized because of his cartoon style. He used to learn and take whatever he liked from other artists. His most famous pieces of art were the vision of Ezekiel, the school of Athens, painted from 1510 to 1511, and Entombment. Some other examples of his work were the Sistine Madonna, which was painted from 1513 to 1514, and finally, Saint George and the Dragon. Raffaello's paintings were characterized by the importance of having a meaning or telling the truth more than its beautifulness, contrary to what Michelangelo used to do. As a conclusion, the Renaissance was arguably one of the most important periods of time talking about art in general. The four main characters of this period were the following. Michelangelo Bunarotti, Raffaello Sanzio, Leonardo da Vinci, and Donatello. It started in Florence, Italy, and then meaning of the word is rebirth. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.
created using Powtoon.